Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to Automaton. Again, it's been a little while since we last played. Took a break, as always. Um, you know, I I think I mentioned last time or something that I wasn't like super into Minecraft at the moment, but it's slowly coming back. I've actually started work on my own mod, pod, uh, mod pack again. I was trying to port the Serious Remnants pack I have over to um, 1.12. And by porting, I really mean like just redo it basically it's like completely different uh no well, not completely different but it's it's uh it, it's different for sure so i've been actually working on that and that was a lot of fun just diving back into that and such and yeah i just figured you know what uh, automaton even had an update recently it's one version 1.5 now there's a couple of things for example we have like bonsai trees in here now which i probably ignore because we have the cloches which I'm not sure why he didn't use that mod, because it, it just works so perfectly with this pack. It's possible that he doesn't know about the mod it, uh, uh, itself, but who knows. Maybe I should mention it to him that there is this mod, although I guess he wouldn't really want to switch it out at this point. Um, so I'm just gathering some materials for today's episode, and just kind of like getting back into the groove, I guess. Getting used to some things. Also, I'm like checking out some... Uh, recording things, I'm trying to change things up a bit, I have a slightly different setup uh, than before. So hopefully everything is good. But yeah, it's been it's been fun to work on some Minecraft stuff again. I'm really looking forward to getting my pack going again. Hopefully it won't take super duper long. Let me see, do I have everything? I have a list of items I need. Uh, I think I have everything. Yeah, should be good. But, uh, and out of my box, right? Yeah. But it's still gonna take a while. Like, like I said, I wanna, like, do it somewhat different than the last series Remnants pack, but, uh, still somewhat same. I I'm trying to do it a bit more adventure too. I want to add some custom structures and sort of, like, little dungeons in where you have to go through them in, uh, adventure mode. So you can't build or break any blocks. So that, that would be a lot of work, so I'm, like, still debating if I even want to do that or not. But yeah, it feels nice to be in here. You know, I've been, like, th the way I play mod packs is kind of... Oh, and by the way, before I, like, talk about stuff while I'm doing stuff, we're going to make the squeezer, which we already made once, right? That's the thing we have in here, I believe, right? Is that a squeezer? Yeah, this thing over there. And a crusher, so we can actually make that graphite that we needed for the ME controller. So I think I'm just going to build this... I actually don't know. I guess I'll just build it outside here for now. And I'll think about a proper place for this later. But I think over here might be good for now. It might even become a separate building at one point. That wouldn't be a terrible spot. I just want to leave this open so I can run cable down here, I guess. Um, but yeah, let's go. Let's go do that. But yeah, the way I play mod packs is, you know, I don't... I mean, this is, a, this is like a quest pack, right? We have... We technically have a goal. We have all these quests to do. That is kind of the goal. We also finished something here today that we can uh, take and pick up, but I'll do that later. And, you know, after a while, once you're done with this stuff, then I guess you consider being done with this pack, kind of, right? Like, that's your end goal, maybe, getting through all of this. Oh, it's getting nighttime. Personally, I don't really play packs like this. I don't necessarily care about the end goal. I don't need to have an end goal. I just want to, you know, spend time in the pack and enjoy my time in it, I guess. The journey really is what what interests me in this pack just uh you know all these mods you have is just a little it's like fun toys that you try out and play with you don't you don't dive into them just to make progress right now i have played packs like this like project all zone sky factory etc so sometimes they're definitely fun and they're also pretty good actually for like videos because you do have a specific goal in mind uh, oftentimes with things like minecraft there isn't really a goal like i said and it's difficult to end an, a series at a specific point because it might feel like feel like it's just shut, uh, cut short or something, right? Like if I was going to end Automata now, it would probably seem like I'm abandoning it. But to me, it's not abandoning it. To me, it's just like you know, I had my fun with this. I'll move on. That's kind of how I see these things. Um, now I don't want to abandon this yet. I still want to do stuff in here, and. Um, you know, just dive into more things, and especially with submersive engineering and getting into mechanism a bit more would be nice. But I, I might not really, in the end, like, you know, end up finishing all of it. We, we'll see how it goes, right? Like, if I don't enjoy it, I'll, I'll stop playing. But 
uh, for now it's uh, it's kind of nice little um, nice little way of chillaxing as well. Didn't wasn't there a way? Oh yeah, yeah. I forgot. There's a way to do this better. We have the projectors that I don't have on me. There's one. Found it. Oh, there's also like some materials in there that I could have used. But yeah, I, I, I do I do kind of feel bad sometimes when I start mods like this or packs like this and don't finish them really. And again, finishing, you know, as in like completing the entire pack, I guess. Because, you know, people... It's a bit different if I play it on my own, right? If I play on my own, it doesn't matter too much because no one is watching. But if people are watching, um, it's it's a bit... Oops, do need this. It's a bit silly if I, like, end things early. I feel the same, too, as a viewer, if I, like, watch people's uh, Let's Plays and they, you know, it's like, oh, this is really fun to watch, and then suddenly it ends. It's, like, kind of sad. And, in fact, I was watching some people play two different packs the other day because they're somewhat similar to... Is that a piston up here? Yes. To what I have in mind with my Serious Remnants uh, pack or other packs, too, like, like just in, in general, like, the, the style of pack is exactly the style of pack I would want to play. Um, and those packs were, one is called Homestead, and the other one is called Banished. Uh, it's not the Feed the Beast Banished, there's like a different... Wait, how do you... There we go. Nope. There we go. Um, it's not the Feed the Beast Banished, there's like a different one called Banished, exclamation mark, harsh survival. And there's two versions out of it, and I was looking for both of them, mostly for the second one, just because it's newer. But I was kind of interested in both of them. But, um, yeah, th there weren't many people that played it, unfortunately. And the people who did play it only played it for... Uh, I think the longest series I saw was like eight episodes. The other ones are mostly like four, two, something like that. <laughs> um, in fact, the, the, the mod pack developer had more update videos about this than some people had let's plays of it. So it's always a little bit sad when you watch it because I got really into it. And it's all about, like, it's very low-tech, too, you know? And I, I really like this low-tech stuff. Um, I mentioned that in Ceftech, like, the early stages in Ceftech were my favorite about favorite thing about Ceftech. Everything after, like, H3 or something is like, eh, don't care. I've already done all of these mods. Why do I do it again, right? Um, how do I clear this again? I guess I don't need to clear it. And, and Serious Remnants is kind of the same if you haven't played that pack at all or no, know nothing about this. Uh, what do I need? I need the Crusher. Basically, originally the idea was that it's about uh, embers and roots. That was like the, the original goal of the pack. And I wanted to keep it like small so I can kind of like um, dive into those two mods and just experience them a little bit. Which way would that face? Uh, which way do I want this to phase? That's power. That's an output, I'm guessing. Input goes into the top. So, the red thing should be on the other side, I think. I think this way would work better. How do you... Oh, middle click. It's mirror. A middle click is to rotate. I thought it was a mouse wheel for some reason. Uh, and again, this we might just move this eventually. It's not probably the best spot, but um, I'm gonna try it like this. You know, like place it first and then maybe decorate it around it. But yeah, I, I do like this kind of like low tech stuff a lot, and I I want my packs to be like this. So Serious Runs was about embers and roots. So embers is you know like a dwarven styled magic tech mod. It's, uh, it's very low tech if you compare it to any other mods, even like compared to uh, like immersive engineering, what people consider underpowered already. Uh, Embers is way more underpowered than that, really. Um, and the whole idea became like that uh, you, you're following the remnants of these drawers and figure out where they went, etc. But I've never really done anything with the story. I always had like a little bit of a story in mind that I wanted to integrate a bit more adventure stuff. And that's what I'm currently trying with my 1.12 version of it. But uh, the 1. Point, was it 1.10 or 11? <laughs> I totally forgot. I think it was 11. I think it was a 1.11 pack. Was uh, It was difficult. It was a bit too difficult. At the time, I did like the difficulty. Nowadays, maybe not so much anymore. There we go. We got a crusher. Woohoo! 
but uh, I still like the challenge, but I don't want to be too difficult. I did uh, do a poll recently asking you guys on YouTube on the community tab if you like fighting enemies in games or not. And uh, mo it, surprisingly, actually, it was very 50-50. I wasn't expecting that. But thinking about this, though, I kind of feel the same about it. Let me see. This is all HV wires. Uh, we didn't do anything with, like, capacitors in the middle, right? No. To, like, transform it or something? That's okay. I did bring an HV capacitor, too, if you want some power here. Storage. Temporarily. Um, how do we do this? Let me see. Okay, maybe I just build, like one of these things over here again. Forgot about how many blocks, it was like 15 blocks or something, right? Do I still have my measuring tape? I do. But I don't quite remember how exactly I measured this. I think it was from the center maybe or something? Oh no, you have to hold. Was it like this? It's been a while, guys, I'm sorry. Um, let's just build over here and see if that works. But yeah, so, I, so I've been just working on that. That was, it's it's been quite fun. Uh, getting back into it, just trying to figure out which mods I want to use and trying not to do it too crazy. Oh, I didn't bring any fences. Are these cobblestone fences? Yeah, right? Yeah. Because, like, you know, the more mods you add, the more difficult it becomes to manage and to, like, balance. Because I do want to have some sort of balance. But if you go check out the mod packs, for example, like Banished or um, Homestead, they're very similar to what I want to do. Not quite as crazy, maybe, but uh, I just, like, like the style it's it's a bit difficult to to i don't know like to make a low tech mod pack with progression without making things feel obsolete after a while that's always my biggest issue like you know you start out let's say my pack the way i have it currently set up uh oh that's steel huh i might not do that for now i should do it i have some extra steel stuff somewhere yeah i have it like set up where for example you start out with the charcoal pit mod to make your first set of ores in uh, specifically bronze um, and copper and tin b before you can even go into iron and then with for iron you have to um ooh, it does like it has a green shadow because it's like glass that's cool I you have to make more progress in a different mod in primal core right now to unlock something there that actually lets you make iron and such right but the problem i always have with these kind of um setups is that let's say you know once you make it to to that stage where you can process the iron and stuff you'll also be able to use the same method to process the bronze and copper that you uh, previously needed the um the charcoal pit stuff for so the charcoal pit stuff becomes obsolete at this point you don't need it anymore you can just do the rest with all the other stuff right so um i'm just always like wondering like is that fine or is that weird right like do you do you really want to include a mod which which like the the only purpose for that mod is to use it as um is this gonna work what i'm trying here i think it should be fine is to uh you know like just get started and then after you get started you don't really use it anymore is that fine or is that weird right and that's kind of the stuff i always try to figure out with that with those mods like is is that fun is that not fun etc but there really is no like alternative to it in my opinion like the other alternative would be okay you skip the charcoal pit stuff and you just go straight to the thing that you would be using for iron for example but then the early game becomes so short again like the whole point of me using this kind of stuff is to extend the early game not to make it grindy or anything just to make it give it some more interesting uh, mechanics maybe so these are the things I'm like just kind of deciding still. Um, I think it's fine probably, but ooh, game. But at this point, I have like so many things also disabled in the charcoal pit mod. Like making charcoal with the charcoal pit mod, I have disabled because I'm gonna use the primal core version because it has different types of um, uh, different types of coal, like different quality of coal, and depending on what you get, they uh, they can burn things faster or slower, etc. So. It's, it's a bit more interesting than just using the regular coal, for example, right? So, yeah, it's just a matter of, like, is that silly or not? Is that useful? Actually, it's a bit too high, maybe. I'm not really sure what I'm doing here, to be honest. I'm just, like, building while I'm talking to you guys. Sure. That will do for now. Um, and we can connect this. And then we can hook up these guys here real quick. Do we have enough? Yeah. Go ahead. 
going to use the medium voltage. Is this going to connect over there? I'm not sure. Where is your input? Oh, your input is over here. Uh, actually, let's move that further back then. But, you know, it's getting there. And I think a little bit of, you know, having mods in there that get discarded after a while is okay. If you think about it, basically the vanilla game gets discarded too, right? Like, um, you stop chopping down trees so technically an axe might not have it the, the most use anymore or even like furnaces you might replace because you get some industrial versions or whatever your mod pack has right so you're, you're technically skipping technology still uh, in that regard so maybe it's not as bad as i think it is you know and as long as it's fun i guess it should be okay yeah. am i am i messing stuff up have i not set you to output you are output oh derp that needs to be, and actually, now I think about this, I think I did the uh, the lamps over there wrong too. Is this? Yeah, this is like. <laughs> oh no, right, because they're like connected like this. I see. I thought there was there was like a um, power thingy here in the middle too, like this one, but there's not. I actually have to gonna move this anyway, but and like branch off at the side. But for now, I'll leave it like this because, like I said, it's temporary. In any case, you know, my pack was still gonna take a while to do to make. So I figured we might as well, um, does cobble work in this? Yeah, look, we have a crusher. We get gravel. Nice. Uh, it's still gonna take a while, so... Haha, <laughs> nice. Might as well, like, keep playing here a bit more, because I do want to do more stuff here. Um, but, uh, like I said, we might not make it to the very end of this. Who knows? But anyway, let's, uh, let's go a little bit talk about this pack here and what we're actually doing. So, like I said, we want to make the graphite, right? So we needed those two machines last time to get the ME controller to get the graphite. And to get graphite, look at this again, we have to crush... Uh, we have to crush... No, we have to squeeze... Sorry, crush coke dust... Uh, coke hole, and then squeeze a coke dust into... Uh, this graphite dust and then uh, cook it. We, I was worried we had to use the arc furnace, but we don't. We can actually just use the normal smelting. The arc furnace is cool, but it does require a ton of power usually, as far as I know. And I kind of avoid it <laughs> usually. It's a cool machine, but I think I don't think it's it's like difficult to automate too or something. Like there was something about it that doesn't work so well. Plus you need these rods here. Oh yeah, now I think about this, I guess you, that recipe is normal. Because you do need these rods to like put them into the, um, unless there's a different electrode, into the arc furnace to power it. Um, or to like use it, I guess. No, I guess that's the only one. Do we have a chest or something? We don't. I do have a shulker box on me I could use, I guess. Or we just pick it up. But yeah, so just gonna crush it down. This doesn't have like an internal interface. We can't like right click it and see what's in there. Uh, but it can you can toss in quite a few items, but don't just go crazy. I I've had that I had I've done that in uh, Sky Factory, and uh, there is a moment where it will crash your world, and you will no longer be able to connect to it until you get rid of that machine, because it stores these items internally, and the internal number is only so big. And I don't know, maybe it's fixed by now, but back then it wasn't. So yeah, be careful. Let's just bring a chest, I guess. So much stuff in here. Let's maybe put these away. Keep the cable because I want to put it back in my box. That might be nice. Um, but yeah, the, I want to make progress. I actually want to make more building progress than tech progress almost. <laughs> like there are certain things I want to build. There we go. Squeezing it. Don't need water for this, I don't think. Do we? No. And there we go. We got graphite dust. Now we can go smelt it. Um, and actually, let me put away some stuff into this box here. So we don't have to carry that with us the whole time. Think what else did I have in here? This I can put back these guys and that is probably all I want to have in there. So let's take it with us again. And yeah, we have to extend these power thingies still too and such. Um, but yeah, I want, I want to kind of do some building, but I also want to get into tech, especially like the ME system would be nice to have, of course, right? So that is something we want to do. So let's put our stuff. Can we burn it into here too? Uh, I don't think he can. I think it has to be a furnace for some reason. I guess he forgot to add the um, the uh, recipe. But we only need two of them to make the ME controller. And I forgot, did we have everything else? Like, are we actually able to make the ME controller now? Let me, like, get organized a bit. I have, like, too many things on me still. 
Okay, that's a little bit better, I guess. Um, I could probably put the hammer into the toolbox too. So it's gone out of the way and grip all of this stuff again. Let me see, we might actually... Uh, where'd it go? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What happened? Oh, no, wait, it's in here. Woo! <laughs> I was scared there for a second. Did we, um, let's see, grab... No, we need... We have this stuff, though, don't we? Kinetic... Let me double check. Yeah, apparently, I don't think we, uh, we actually made the, the rest for the controller yet, which is fine. I just prepared some of these items, so we should be good. Oh, I need to make the this glass. Oh, it's two iron grid. Not just one. There we go. And that should be the last thing we need. Let's go over here, put that in there, and that gives two. Perfect. So that should be it. And we are missing the graphite. Boom. Now, before we do, but you can see, we can make it now. Before we do, let's double check the mod, uh, the quest book here, that it was available. The ME controller. Yes, it's available. So we don't have to, like, do it again. Ta-da! We got the ME controller. Oh, perfect. Uh, yes, give me, give me loot box, please. There we go. Got that. And yeah, awesome. That was what we wanted to try to get last time and we couldn't. Let's also claim all the other things we uh, completed here. Oh, it gives you graphite rods for the for the uh, graphite th quest as well. And then this is for the arc furnace, right? Yeah. This is the quest for the arc furnace. And did it... Let's see, we finished the... We finished this one, the solar tower. But that's just because we crafted these things, of course. So it's, uh, you know, it's the same thing. Um, it probably finished the other quests before. Like, did we get the one for the squeezer and the crusher yet? I'm not sure. Mm, it might be somewhere in there. And I think, yeah, there's this one. Oh, pulverizer, that's a crusher. There we go. And then what else is there still? Oh, the power stuff, yeah. Just make... Oh, wait, can I do that? It says complete. Oh, yeah, we can. Oh, we can get another HV capacitor. I'm actually going to get that one. Nice. I think he changed a lot of quests to be a retriever quest now, too. Although, this still says crafting. But I heard, like, I think... Oh, no, I read in the changelog that apparently it's, like... Um, a lot of them are now retriever ones. This one is broken, like... I think, or maybe... I think I'm supposed to select the reward here. But I can't. Maybe it's because I'm not using the hearts or something. I don't know. But yeah, we got uh, we got some loot bags here. It's uh, for now. Oh yeah, and all this stuff tossed on the ground apparently. Let's maybe put these in here for now so we can use them in a bit. I guess we got an extra uh, projector too for one of the quests. And then I think... Is there anything else? Put this away. Yeah, I think that's okay. I thought I got some... Oh, the HG Greek ambassador, right. Actually, that one goes over here. So does this thing. Let's be a bit organized, even though we don't have to be organized anymore. We got the ME control now, so now we can actually finally set up our little AE system, which is awesome. Now we don't... I don't know if you have enough power here, but let's double check this. We have the controller, and we did not have, like, the drive hit or something, right? It does want us to make the drive next as the quest here. And, of course, we also need the interfaces here. So it needs us to make an ME crafting terminal and the drive. We could also go with chests. I don't think we made that quest, right? No, but we should probably make a drive instead. So how difficult or expensive is this thing? Uh, not very. Do we still have the cables? We do. So I think I should actually have all the things to make a drive. And then we need to make the... Um, let's see, let's see here. Energy sticks. We need to make things that we can store stuff on, right? Now, didn't we get from some rewards something that would already give us storage, maybe? I feel like we found something at one point. Actually, I think it was a crafting cell. I don't think it was a storage cell. Huh. I think it's in here. I think it's... Where is it? There's a bunch of cables that we can use. We can do this, then we can see everything from this mod. We got some acceleration cards. Yeah, we got this like 64k crafting storage. Can't turn that into like a cell or anything, unfortunately. So, oh well, that's fine. Um, but yeah, we got the controller. Where is it? Oh, there. 
So I guess let's look at the cells. The cells are the things that we actually store stuff on. So we need to make these little uh, storage components here. First one, not too expensive, status quartz. Couldn't be any type of status quartz. Uh, so is it? Wait. Yeah, even the normal one. It doesn't have to be charged. So we got to be careful that we don't use up our ch uh, charged stuff. So that would be sad. Yeah, so let's make... We, if you make three, I think three make the next tier, right? Yeah, if you make three of the previous, you can make the next tier. So let's make six. And see if we can upgrade them to the next tier. We need the quartz glass that we have in here too. Because the, the bigger they are, the more they can store. So these are like uh, 4k. And then if you had three of them, we can make the 16k. And so on. It keeps going up. And I think we have the add-on here that lets you get even higher cells like normally the 64k is the highest you can get in the like vanilla applied energistics but with the extra cells too mod we can go beyond that we can actually make like look how far that goes i think that's probably the highest right yeah that's the highest we could make but that's also very expensive um but then also we need this casing so we need the this guy so we do two of them they don't stack unfortunately there we go there's our little storage and let me maybe move these machines for now. Don't think we currently need them. Let's just dump some things into this maybe. And just put this into the corner here. And now... Wow, it's glowing! It doesn't glow as nicely as it used to. I don't think. Um, I don't think it's just my texture pack. But I don't think it does... Let me check. It used to be like one of those textures that glows above like even like even the darkness like if i turn this all the way down yeah it doesn't glow as much anymore it's just a normal texture now it seems that's oh god that's really odd huh that's unfortunate like the um refined storage one still does it and i kind of like the refined storage a bit more it's a bit easier to set up too but this is what we got right we don't have a refined storage in here no okay but there we go, we have an ME controller with storage. Only problem is we can't access anything right now. Uh, so we need to make a crafting a crafting terminal. Sorry, I'm like a little bit burpy, I just had food. <laughs> uh, so we need these annihilation, now what are they called? Yeah, annihilation and formation cores, which is one is with gold, flux dust, and uh, quartz. The other one is with gold, flux da da dust, and surface quartz. We still have these guys, which I think we can use too. And actually, wait, can I just use the, just like regular? Oh, I can just use regular quartz. I don't know if that's default. I feel like you always needed, let's actually make this brighter. I think I had this on full brightness before. Yeah. Um, I think you always needed uh, the other stuff first uh, before, but, oh well, maybe changed. I'm not sure. But we can now, if we get the flux dust, which I have somewhere, maybe. Or maybe I didn't have it anymore, anywhere, but I just made some, so we can do this here. So we make some of those, we get two per craft, which is nice. Uh, and then we need the another gold one, the this um, this panel, which is pretty easy, just need some glowstone. And I just saw, I think we might be out of... Yeah, we're out of the golden processor, so I need to go make new ones real quick. Let's make this inter this terminal or this display real quick. There we go. You can also use these as light sources if you want to. It's kind of cool. All right, got it now. There we go. One ME terminal. We don't really need two, so let's put that away. And then just really quick, a crafting table and another one of those guys. And that is it. That will give us the ME crafting terminal. And we can just take any cable. It can even use like an isolated cable. If you do use an isolated cable, I can show you in a bit. It changes the color of this thing too. But there we go, now we have access to our ME terminal. This little setup has storage now, so we can actually just shift click all the items in here that we want and never have to worry about organizing things. <laughs> well, a little bit maybe still, but you know, especially since these, these things are gonna get full, but yeah, it is gonna make things so much easier. I'm gonna have to make more storage drives off camera just so we can fill this up and like store a lot of things we don't actually have to technically tear this down what we can do is add a storage controller or storage uh, bus i think it's called to the me controller and it will show all these items inside our me system without having to use up any of these drives so we could keep using this wall if we wanted to i'm not sure if i will 
it might make sense for the ores. Like, I might keep the ores separate and things that we have, like, a ton of. Like, you know, I mean, cobblestone, for example. We don't want to store 65,000 cobblestone in our system. That takes up tons of space on these drives. So it would be much better to separate that uh, up into uh, these things and just hook up a storage bus or something. But yeah, really cool. I'm glad we have this now. And here, yeah, just to demonstrate it, if you take, let's say, this yellow one, the yellow cable, and use this, if that's something you want to do, this will change to the same color as the cable. So you can actually color these uh, to whatever you want. I usually go with like a lime green or purple, uh, but this works too. Oh, oh, not purple. What is it? There's this red color. Just like, no, that's not it. I think it's magenta. No, what is it? Yeah, yeah, it's magenta, this color, because I like it, because these cables look really nice. I like the color of those cables, or this one. I like these neon colors, those are my two favorite colors, usually. Very nice colors. Uh, but yeah, I think I'm going to end this here. I had some plans for some other stuff, but I think we're already out of time, because I talked too much once again. Um, uh, and next time, I'll probably, I don't have too much to talk about, because I'm going to record some videos right after this one, I think. Uh, like I said, I want to make more progress in here, and I'm kind of just in the mood of playing and recording, so... Figured I'll do that as well, so there shouldn't be a long wait before the next one, but who knows, no promises, maybe, <laughs> maybe I'll change my mind in two minutes, um, but I'll try not to, and, and just make some some uh, some more progress here, but yeah, I, I think I'll try to keep things a bit more organized, like I'm gonna try to really stick to a goal per video, sometimes I try to push too many things into the same video, and it becomes a bit hectic, or a bit, um, you know, like, stressful, or we don't cover everything, or etc. So it's it's nicer to just have a little bit of a smaller goal, and then go on. And I do have a ton of things on my list that I want to do. Trust me, there's a, there's a lot of stuff I want to do. Um, and additional mods are added to this pack that I haven't mentioned yet today, but we'll do that next time. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys are still watching. If you're still watching, thank you so much. Thank you for waiting and for being patient with me. While I'm being lazy and not uploading videos. Uh, try to do better. But you know I'm also working on my other mod pack now. So once that is done. I'll definitely like be much more active again. But uh, we'll see. You know I don't want to rush it. I've been much more in like a. I'll play when I feel like it. Mood rather than. Oh my god I don't have an episode today. I need to make an episode. Just take it more uh, chill. More of a chill approach you know. Life's too stressful already anyway. Might as well take it chill. Alright guys, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you guys very soon, hopefully. Goodbye.